When the sun comes back, when the first quail calls, follow the dragon go. Good morning, Southwest Birds. We are bringing you today's show on location at Pumpkin Central. That's right. We're here in the office, surrounded by these roly-poly orange beauties. I thought it might smell more like pumpkin pie in here, though. I'm hungry. I wonder what they're cooking for us in the cafeteria. Well, Dee Dee, there's no pumpkin on the menu today. Today's hot lunch will be cheeseburger, waffle fries, garden salad, frozen juice cup, and your choice of milk. Today's quick bite will be yogurt snacker, and today's salad would be chicken Caesar salad. Back to you, Dee Dee and Lana. Welcome back to Pumpkin Central. We know many of you were just here for our Sportastic celebration. You're doing a fabulous job making good choices. Let's go to Jafar. He's on location in the first grade class who has a special rhyme to share. Thank you, Dee Dee. I'm here visiting Miss Adams' class, and they have this wonderful rhyme that they'd like to show us that helps them remind themselves to make good choices. Stop and think. I can make a good choice or a bad choice. I'm going to make a good choice. Great job, Mrs. Adams' class. Back to you, Dee Dee and Lana. That was amazing. Southwest Spurs have been making great choices and earning spur bucks that they're getting to cash in for awesome rewards. You've been racking up the rewards this month. Freezy pops, special snacks, morning show shout outs, and positive phone calls home. Look at all these smiling Southwest Spurs. All these events are leading up to our favorite PBS tradition, the pumpkin roll. This is the eighth year we've had this fall celebration for students who have been productive, understanding, respectful, and safe every day. We are surrounded by over 40 gorgeous gourds that are ready and waiting for this awesome event this afternoon. Gourds? These are pumpkins. That's right. Pumpkins are a member of the gourd family. They have a huge history here in America. That's right. It's time for a history break. Let's go to Jafar, Gabriel, and Adamar for more. Thank you, Dee Dee and Lana. Did you guys know that the butternut squash is actually one of the first crops that man cultivated in ancient times? The gourd family include pumpkin, squash, zucchini, watermelon, cantaloupe, and cucumber. Like this acorn squash, and those are just the edible ones. There are other, ki there are other kinds of gourds that are used for other purposes. Did you know that dried out gourds can become very strong like wood. Most often they are given to artists so that they can make some cool designs. They also have practical uses as bowls, pitchers, and even birdhouses. Hey Lana, that reminds me of a book our teacher read us. Follow the drinking gourd. I remember that one. Did you know this book is based on a song that slaves used to communicate to each other that they can escape slavery? The gourd kind of looked like this. They used to cut it open, hollow it out, and used to drink water out of it like a dipper. The drinking gourd, the dipper that they actually talk about, is the Big Dipper, a constellation that points north. They care about north so much because if they go so far north, they they know they can escape slavery. That's a great idea for my next AR book. Oh, that reminds me. Spurs who have met their first nine weeks AR goal were treated to ice cream sandwiches and a special recognition to celebrate their reading success. Excellent job, everyone. You worked hard to read and take tests with an 80% average or higher, as well as reaching your point goal you set. You know, Dee Dee, another way that gourds have carved their special place in history is the music of many different cultures. Maracas, as well as many other varieties of shakers, are used as musical instruments in many cultures. Let's check it out. Hi, Spurs. It's Jafar here at Miss Gibson's class. And they're using some awesome percussion instruments that are made out of dry gourds, like the wero. <laughs> We just 
had an opportunity to use gourds. A gourd is a dried out squash. Basically, you clean out the inside of the squash, let it dry out in the sun for several, several days. And now you have an instrument. Hey Lana, did you know that another way gourds have made history was that they used to be worn as hats? People in the Philippines created a wide hat that shades them from the tropical sun. I wonder if we will see a gourd hat at the pumpkin roll today. Spurs, be watching for the amazing crazy hats that some of our Spurs will be wearing. They earn their crazy hat day pass by bringing in 25 box tops this month. Speaking of today, let's go to our reporter Jafar. Before we go to the pumpkin roll, I invited Miss Sloan and Miss Foster to give us some great instructions so that we're ready to champ out this activity. So let's roll it. Good morning, Southwest Elementary. We are so excited. Today is the big day. I can't wait. It's the pumpkin roll. We are so proud of all of you that have earned the right to get to participate in our pumpkin roll today. Let's go ahead and champ this out so that way when you guys come out, we can get right to the fun. So pay attention as we go over our champ procedures for the pumpkin roll. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is our conversation. We're out there having a good time. When we're talking with each other, we're at a two, and then we're hollering and yelling for each other, we could be at a four. So what are you going to do if you need help with the pumpkin roll? Guess what? Raise your hand. Our activity is going to be that we're all participating in the pumpkin roll. You're going to come out. There will be a board set up for class. We'll line up behind a board, and there will be a pumpkin there for you. So let's talk about our movement for the pumpkin roll. Now there's two different ways you can roll the pumpkin. You can stand way back and see how far you can roll it, or you can push it along. The last part of your movement is you pick the pumpkin up from behind the board and you run back to the next person in line. Our participation for the pumpkin roll is that you're all going to be standing in line behind your classmates and cheering them on. Finally, our S is for success. And how are you going to know if we were successful? Well, we're all going to have a great time at the pumpkin roll, of course. That's right. We've looked at a whole bunch of ways that Salta Spurs are celebrating being their best. We've had an amazing week full of learning and hard work. Let's stay focused this morning and be ready to celebrate this afternoon. See you at the pumpkin roll. See you there. For the old man is old.